Chris, what did you think of just kind of how things went offensively and defensively this evening against Anaheim? It was a high event game tonight. Um, I thought there was a lot of chances both sides. I liked what we did offensively. Um, when we did make mistakes, uh, Picks played really well. He made some really key saves and a lot of almost for sure goals where they were taken away and that's a good reaction, good compete uh, by him and not giving up. Um, yeah, and overall I liked a lot of good things in the game tonight. And offensively, obviously when you score seven goals and we had a lot of good plays. Our goalie made some really good saves that uh, we weren't expecting, but um, yeah, we're, we're very happy with the victory. What struck you most about the Warren Fogel, Ryan McLeod, and Leon Dreisaitl line? Well, they're starting to get some chemistry. Um, they've been playing really well. They're three guys that um, are good hockey players. I think they cycle the puck really well. Um, you know, I think it's really important, Fogel and uh, McLeod, how hard they worked, getting in on the forward check, creating turnovers. Um, and they're not giving up the puck. You know, they're able to create the turnovers and then they are able to make plays. And I think, uh, you know, Leon's starting to feel very confident, better about his game. And, um, you know, three of them are really uh, building some chemistry. Warren Fogel, specifically, when his game is going, what are you seeing, Chris? Well, just being able to protect the puck. And I think there was an example um, on the rush in the second period. Um, not sure actually who got the end up getting the goal. I remember it set up with I think Fogel protect the puck on the rush, not not trying to beat the defenseman one on one. Um, he was able to make a uh, uh, McLeod, and then uh, one touched it back to Drysidle. Beautiful shot under the bar, and uh, Gibson made a beautiful save. Um, and then after that, we were able to score. But I think a lot of just not giving the puck away, um, and he's so good in the offense was down uh, below the goal line. You know, there's every, every player has strengths. That's probably one of his biggest strengths is how good he is below the goal line. I know Darnell Nurse factored in uh, on a, with a couple of primary assists tonight, but his overall game, Chris, do you feel like it's a little underappreciated with how much he has on his plate and how much responsibility he has on the back end? Yeah, no, I think uh, him and Cease uh, deserve a lot of credit the way they've been playing. Um, you know, a lot of shutdown responsibilities. Um, you know, it's nice to see him make a couple nice, really nice plays for uh, assists tonight. And, um, you know, I just think with, especially with getting back to Darnell, just how well he skates, he's able to close plays and he's strong and wins those battles. I don't know how many times on the penalty kill he breaks up a play and he's got guys all over his back and he's still able to make the clear. So a lot of, a lot of stuff like that's very, um, very appreciated by, uh, by the team. You came back from a slow start last night. What was the key to coming out hard tonight? And well, I think we built a game tonight also. Um, uh, you know, I don't think uh, first period, I think we're very fortunate to be up 2-1. I, I think the Anaheim was probably the better team in the first period, but uh, we're fortunate to be up 2-1. Um, they, yeah, they weren't going to make it easy on us. And it was definitely a better first period than it was in L.A., but um, we still want to starts are so important, especially scoring the first goal. Um, that's something that we'll have to be working on. Your goalie gets his second straight win, and for a guy who doesn't see a lot, just how about his night and being sharp? Yeah, no, a lot of credit. I think he played really well tonight, and, you know, giving up two tonight, it could have been a lot more uh, with the quality of chances. And I think there was a lot of times when the it was almost a for-sure goal, and he was able to take it away. And, um, you know, uh, for a team, you uh, you get excited about that. You like to see that. It's like uh, you've seen a big hit or uh, somebody doing a key block shot. You see a goalie make a save that they weren't expecting. It, it provides life and energy uh, for the uh, the rest of the guys. Is it more of a lift because it's almost like he's a pinch hitter in baseball who comes in and gets a double or extra base hit. Yeah, it's it's tough um, for you know a fourth line guy not sure when his next shift is going to be in the rotation and sometimes you sit there for a while and same with the backup goalie. You don't get a play regularly. It might be a week um, between starts and um, you know we're very fortunate. He's been playing very well. Um, we're happy to have him. Chris, obviously a very special year for you being named an NHL head coach. I'm not sure if you're a big resolution guy or not but do you have any resolutions for 2024? Uh, no, no resolutions. I'm just enjoying this this time here with uh, with the team, and hopefully we can get as many wins as possible.